20 inches in width. And the, this uh, thermal printer is also integrated in the same Android box, Android media player. What is this? Sorry, uh, where is this thermal printer? This is this is, this is the this is the th uh, self ordering kiosk. This one is the self uh, thermal printer. Okay. And um, this one is the scan the scanner. If you want anything order, you can just add to the card. This this one is also the customized product for the customer. Got it. So this can be used as a self checkout kiosk, self ordering. Like if the some some uh, product is not available in the store, you know the user can come here and uh, they can select the product and online order it, and he can get a receipt there and then. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I show the? Now this one is the wayfinder kiosk. In the mall, you can see that the navigation systems in the mall. Just like if you want, to show the location completely kiosk to the. Okay. And then this, okay. Uh, this is the way. This just one is a little bit closer. Kiosk. Yeah. Just okay. Yeah. If if you know if you have a large space like if Reliance has a large store and you want to know right. where what to find, so you can come here. You can uh, search by typing or you can just uh, select a category. Right. I understand what are wayfinding solutions, but what I'm looking for, Ajay, is is it possible um, that I can find a particular product? Yeah. Usually, let's say, yeah. um, I mean, if it's not related to a particular brand, right? Like I can I can tell the person, okay, this brand is present here within my store. Example, if within Reliance, we have something called Performax. Um, I can tell the person that this is a Performax brand, it's present on the first floor. But if I can tell him that it's present on the first floor in the second rack, is that possible? Yeah, yeah, it is possible. But how is that? How do you make this technology possible? Do you have some sort of RFID uh, reader or something like that? See, uh, there are two things. No, uh, one is you have to create uh, a node at the point of sale where the product or the places, and then you have to feed into the location of the kiosk where the kiosk is placed. So once a user is uh, typing those words, like even if there are uh, a few words, you no, know, say uh, customer is looking for perfume and they start typing perfumes. So as mm -hmm. soon as they start typing perfumes, perfume categories will start coming in and then he can select a brand and then they will direct him to the location where the, you know, that particular shop is located. So what, what is the location? Will it tell the first shelf, second shelf, or will it just tell the floor or how does it? It, it, will, uh, tell how you the, it will tell you the exact rack position where the, where the product is positioned. Okay. Is it possible for you to send that video to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can send a. Okay. Got it. Yeah, you can a continue. I'll video of this and send you across. No, like you know, yeah, uh, yeah. right now we are doing, say, a customized uh, application for a library. So it's a okay. huge library, Jawaharlal Nehru University Library. It's very huge, three floors. So people get confused. They are looking for a book and they are not able to find it. Right. So they just type. Say they type. Say Discovery of India. You know. And uh, then they say, Ki, okay, by Jawala Nehru, right? If you have identified the book, then it will tell you which floor, which rack to go. You know, you, re you reach there and then you can uh, place the item what you're looking for. So in large okay, stores, really it's very helpful. It's a self service uh, checkout. Sometimes even the sales staff do not know where the product is. Exactly. Because I'm, I'll just tell you what uh, example, if we are looking for a sari, right? And uh, I, I'm someone who prefers saris with no borders. Uh, 
yeah usually the sales person is able to find if it's around him or her but they don't know where it is elsewhere in the store yeah so that is what i want to be able to um, find out through this yeah 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 we can do that you can okay. keep on adding it is very simple to add categories also tomorrow if you want to add a new category it says saree with a yellow border you can even mm-hmm. add category and then put a note where the product is got it so it's very easy to do you know even a mid mid level it guy can manage this updation okay yeah now uh, we are also calling this the info info kiosk okay we are for you this info kiosk uh information kiosk okay what does this do yeah uh if you want to search anything in the information kiosk you can easily search it just like this So these are very compact uh, interactive devices can be kept anywhere it can be on a counter it can be on a next to a uh, you know cup space where you want to show more about the product say you want to show a video of the product you want to show uh, you know some uh, colors combinations how it can be customized all that so it becomes a handy tool uh, along with the you know the that product space for customer to go through uh sorry just could you just repeat the last bit i was just looking at the video okay okay so th- what i'm saying is this is a very compact uh, interactive tool which can be mm-hmm. placed either on a counter top or a floor stand next to the product space so suppose if there is a, there are a lot of laptops there now you don't know what this laptop can actually do there is no one so there are there are demo videos in that uh, you can take the customer there and show him the entire you know demo on this information piece so this becomes an additional sales sales help tool for the customer so i can do this with uh, again let's just take sarees just to maintain that consistency yeah um so let's say i have a couple i have a couple of um, sarees which i want to compare right. right so Uh, i can actually uh, just filter for that and show yeah, the comparison yeah. of sarees is it yeah this is a very compact thing in fact what he was telling you uh, showing you a 75 inch display interactive display that is a real experience where you can show it in a very large size you selecting a saree uh, making a customer stand in front of it no got it or do you have okay i am just looking at i am just throwing ideas here so yeah. you can just let me know uh, if it's possible or not so i wouldn't like hold you accountable for it uh, but let's say i have a 65 inch portrait form um, tv a screen right and i develop a software which um, has a draping technique facility in the sense it identifies the person body type Uh, who's in front of it and then it can actually drape the saree of that person in that uh, visual avatar is that possible yeah yeah like you know those those floor standy what you saw 43 inch uh maybe can we go back to the saree yeah so this kind of a scenario is what you are talking about a portrait form uh so it can be a full length uh, screen and here you can uh, you know put in your information about the sari and the videos on that and then you can uh, you know show that to the customer no that's not what i'm actually looking for but if you have a video with where you've done this just please send that to me okay uh but i i i'll i'll, and I'll send you a video of what i'm actually looking for yeah yeah so there are three d- different uh, ways of doing it it can be a floor standing thing it can be a wall mounted thing you know 
Yeah, I'm looking mostly for wall mounted itself. Okay. Floor standing is a little uh, difficult. Okay. Uh, we don't want to. We want to limit ourselves to any floor standing, but I'm I'm not against it. If I can get like a very sleek version of a floor standing um, setup, it would work. Yeah. Uh, mounted is the one which. Mounted is the one what you know he, he showed you. Okay. Is this, this is what this? It seems like a fairly small screen. Is can I get a bigger screen? Is yeah, that possible? you can get up to sixty-five inches, and then you saw seventy-five inches in landscape. That same thing can be right. in portrait also. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah, it depends on the space what you have in the you know. This is thirty-two inch. And so, see, from what I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing only the websites which are being opened, like either Chrome or Internet Explorer. I'm actually looking for any software that you might have. So, is can I have a look at that? Yeah. Something which you have developed. Yeah. So, what is this? So you have a collection of jewelry. Okay, no. so let, then, let can I just click on something here and it would take me to the link yeah. of that jewelry? Now you have clicked on the earrings and you see all the earrings there. Got it. Can I let's say I've clicked on this and I get this particular earring, right? Yeah. Is it possible for me to have like right below this other options within the store uh, which go with this earring? Yeah. Let's say saris or shoes or anything. Yeah, yeah. So that's the that's the application. That is the software part. So you know how we create the application. This is an Android based application. Mm -hmm. So that application can be created. What goes with that? No. Now the same earring. They're showing how it looks on your ear. You know, you can even zoom it up. You can order from here. Then you can show more earrings. And maybe you can do even customization. It comes with a stylus. Somebody wants, to, if you're a designer, if the jewelry designer is around, they can even design the jewelry right there with the customer. That kind of engagement. Got it, got it. So it's a very handy engagement tool. Okay. And uh, just a question, Ajay. Whatever changes I would ask you to make, right? Or whatever software I would like for you to develop how on an average how long does it take for you to do it depends you know if you already have the software and then there is customization to that then that will be a smaller time but if it's a fresh oh, let's thing, say the wayfinding solution right yeah. the wayfinding solution which we were talking about where you mentioned the rack it's present on etc yes, yes, yes. uh so let's say I, that is what i want and how long would that take two to four weeks weeks is it Two to four weeks, yeah. Minimum two weeks. Okay, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, this would this helps. Uh, is there anything else that you would want to show? Uh, Ravi, would you like to? Sh and I'm focusing more on the applications versus the hardware. So don't yeah, worry about the hardware. Yeah. I'm convinced that I want a portrait form on the wall. So uh, and I'm I do want a demo of that um the, that that tool the RFID one which is next to the wayfinding solution. Yeah. The chaos no no left I think I don't know if you understood what channel uh, I'm talking. Self checkout about. kiosk. Yeah yeah self check yeah the that one if I, if you could just send that demo. Yeah. Uh, a couple of things that demo wayfinding and um. The please give the permission for which sharing leads to the link which you just showed in that room. Yeah, sure. These are the three things which I would prefer yeah. uh, as videos so if you have, have a more advanced permission. permission. Sorry. 
Ravi, can you also show how we are monitoring all the panels and the room over there? Sorry, what am I seeing now? Uh, Ravi will just uh, highlight on how we are monitoring all the screens from one place. Oh, okay. No, this, this, right. is the, this, this is the, our PMF. No, but uh, as I think we spoke the first time, right? So we would actually be maintaining it on our servers. Yeah, you will be. And if there is any patch, I understand that you'd be sending it to the server, but it's clear, right? That it will be only on Reliance servers, oh, not yeah. anywhere else. Oh, yeah, it, okay. be. it can be done that way. Okay. So you can monitor all the stations, you can upload, you can schedule, you know, you can get reports. All that can happen right here. And you can also Excellent. monitor which one is connected, not connected, whether it is playing, not playing. No, you can take screenshots. Screenshots of? Suppose there is a signage which is playing in indoor and you are sitting in Bangalore. You want to check what is right now playing in indoor. So you can take a And I can change it with every store? Yeah, you can do it in every yeah. store, every, every signage, every panel. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. And then you can get monthly reports, weekly reports. How your Can I have a look at one of the reports? Uh, that uh, I think we'll have to uh, configure and get an it comes in an Excel. Maybe we can send you a format of a report. Yeah, yeah. I just want the format. So if you can add that to the list of things, sure. that would help. And then what he's showing you is the how we can schedule it. Like what has to play two days later, you can schedule right now. So you have a two day lead time, is it? You Beyond that, you cannot. Time. You can have even one year lead time. Okay, okay, got it. You can schedule all the panels all, all across for, uh, you know, one year. So if the season is changing, you know that next month these signages are going to play, this content has to play. So you can always schedule that beforehand. And the good thing is that uh, it, needs, it needs internet only when it is uh, changing. Otherwise, it doesn't need internet. Got it, got it. So, yeah. um, but I think I would like the internet. I mean, it can obviously be connected all the time, right? Because I'm looking at it not just as a display, but also as a self checkout kiosk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that means I would need the internet because that would up. Yeah, no, why I mentioned that point was sometimes the network is not okay, sometimes Wi Fi is not working, you know, even that way, your signages mm -hmm. are not affected. Understood. But anytime it is, internet is always on. And these panels, we have up to 98 inches. You know, earlier we used to have these large uh, panels as video walls. So now, you know, instead of video walls, we have 98 inch, uh, almost 100 inches panels. Got it, got it. Is, is it more thinner? Because I feel it's a bit thick. Like it's, is it, can't it be like a much more sleeker version? You saw the 32 inch, that is uh, very sleek. That is made for an uh, in, 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 in store, in fixture kind of a scenario. Uh, uh, can one, I just see that once again, please? Ravi, can we see the yeah. 32 inch? That size you can get up to 65 inches. That slimness you can get up to 65 inches. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got it. That's very slim. Got it. Um, just a couple of questions. I'm just going to go through this. So you're based out of uh, Gurgaon, right? Uh, Noida, Delhi. Noida, oh, okay. Um, and your most ideal install solution. Okay, I have an idea. And your features, you can customize it to whatever I want, whether it's wayfinding, interactive catalog, self checkout kiosks. Yeah. Anything is possible. That's right. Okay, got it. Uh, what yeah. is your. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar. I got it. I got it. 
um okay. so what is your operating model your cost operating model doing complete solution hardware plus software in fact most of our softwares are built into the hardware understood so um like do you have a subscription model or a one time payment how does it work so the license is uh, one time it's a lifetime license mm -hmm. and if